Hi, I want to show you a quick project that you can do that I found on Moda's website. So I have a pattern from Fig Tree and Company, and it's for acorn garland or coasters. You can also add additional insulation in these and make them a little bit larger to do some hot mats for the kitchen. So I started by piecing and I have three rows. There's three charm squares, three more, and then two down here. And I just centered this within the row. And by piecing it this way, following their instructions, then I needed another piece of fabric to go across here to be the cap of the acorn. To start, the pattern shows my acorn shape and gave me all the instructions about piecing using a quarter inch seam allowance. And then it provided the shape of the acorn. So I took a piece of template plastic. You see, I have cut out of this several times, but I traced using a Sharpie and created my pattern template. Then I could just place this on the patchwork. As I did that, I was a little surprised that this piece down here was barely going to show. So you could take your pattern and enlarge it still another 10 or 20% on a copy machine and make it larger if you wanna utilize more of the fabric in your piecing and make a slightly larger acorn. But I was just going to use this and place it on my backing fabric and trace around it on the wrong side so that I could then place the backing fabric on here and stitch all the way around, leaving one of the straight sides open. I created my patchwork and just varied the placement of all of these. And then was going to quilt this all the way through a piece of batting. I did not put backing on this because when I'm finished, I wanna just sew my backing fabric to this right sides together leave it open to turn it back right side out, and then top stitch all the way around it to make the finished product. I did machine quilt these, as I had said, and I chose a variety of different patterns. On this one, I did horizontal lines, and perhaps you can see that a little bit through the fabric here. These are even closer together. So it was just based on the width of my presser foot and where my position of my needle was as far as how those would be sewn across. You don't see it all the way through because the backing was added after it had been quilted. That way when I put my template on here, I want to line up my line for the cap where this is going to be. So I trace this on the back of my fabric and when I'm pinning it together, to sew it all together in the end, I'm lining this up to make sure that the cap came to that same piece of fabric seam right there. And you don't really need to worry too much about the outside edges because all of that got cut away after I stitched it together. I did not cut it out until I had sewn all the way around the edges with the backing fabric on. And then I would come back and cut pretty close to it, leaving only about an eighth of an inch seam allowance and clipping in any of the curves. To make the little loops that go right here, I took a bit of the same acorn fabric and ran it through a bias tape maker. To use a bias tape maker, you just cut an inch wide strip of fabric for this, which is a half inch bias tape maker. I take the bias tape maker and a piece of fabric that was one inch wide, and I just cut it at an angle so that it'd be easier to feed it inside of here. Once it gets in a little ways, then I take a straight pin and use this groove so that I can just push it on through. And as it comes through, 
the metal is folding it to just the right shape. And so at my ironing board, I would press this down as it comes through the bias tape maker. And that's folding the sides perfectly to the middle and keeping it a nice consistent width. So I made a long strip of this and then I just folded it over one more time myself to get a nice long strip that was thin and took it to my sewing machine and top stitched it so that it wouldn't come back open. Using that, I could just cut off a small piece, bend it over and tuck it inside when I'm ready to sew the different layers together. I can always cut off the extra that was out here, but with right sides together, I laid this inside, put the backing fabric on it, and stitched all the way around. That way, once it's finished, you just pull this back up and you have your little loop. So, so this is the bundle of fabric that we were using, cinnamon and cream, which is from Big Tree and Company. This is their free pattern from Moda. And so you can download it directly from Moda's website where they have great inspirational ideas. And now I can have these to use as coasters in the fall or garland, or I could have even taken the same shape and applicated these onto a background to make a, will, a wall quilt or a table runner. When you're coming up with designs, you can choose a variety of different fabrics and colors for each season and pick a simple pattern, a shape that doesn't have too many rough edges. But to find some other patterns that might work well for you, you can do a quick search on the internet for coloring pages. There are some fun trees that could be done in the same manner where you piece the colors of green that you want in the background and your little stem down below and then trace this pattern to make your shapes. Again, for garland or coasters, here's a pumpkin shape. A shamrock shape like this would look really nice with a variety of greens in the background. So piece a bunch of squares together or you can do long strips any kind of piecing in the background and then use these as your applique shapes, making the size smaller or larger on your computer or copy machine. So this Christmas ornament and Christmas tree are ready for some upcoming projects with the new fall fabrics. We can do some pumpkins and any time of year, I'm all about a shamrock. So I'll get several of these designs going, do some fun piecing, and see what you can come up with for the upcoming holidays and different seasonal displays. Because popsicles, fireworks, all kinds of beach balls and summer activities would be fun to piece. I hope you enjoy trying this project for yourself. It's called Acorn Garland and Coasters from Fig Tree and Company on the Moda website. Thank you.